guys, Leo Gallo on here today for Topic Tuesday. I'm going to be talking about, well, let's just give a little backstory first. So if you guys do not know what the STRIDE program is, it is an adaptive sports program for people with autism or related disabilities, like myself, because I have autism. Um, and it's located around here, so it's a locally based company. I've been doing activities and sports for Stride for 10 years now. No joking, by the way. I mean, I'm not joking. I've been doing the swim program for 10 years. And I'm still going strong. I mean, my dad is the assistant coach. I have gone to many of their Special Olympics competitions. Yes, I've been doing a lot for them. I also do Stride golfing in the spring. And I even went to their spring fling dance, which is where I met Avery Heaney TV. But that was only one year. I did also do their overnight camping trip, which I'm going to talk about today. Two years ago today was when I was at the overnight camping trip. And spoiler warning before I get into the depth of it, it was not fun. Yes, expect a lot of negativity here. And yeah, I'm just going to get the negatives out of the way first. So what happened was, after we heard that Stride was doing an overnight camping trip, I signed up for it, and we had intended of me doing it with X Trooper 199 because we're both best friends, and yeah, we wanted to be with each other and have a first-time experience with something new. Turns out that we're not big on camping. We may have a camp cottage, but we don't like going in tents in the woods, that kind of camping. And that was the kind of camping I had to put up with. It was an experience, and I'm like, no, not doing it again. So what could have made this a bad experience for me, you probably are asking. I'll tell you. First off, they didn't have much to offer in the schedule. If we did go camping, we would have done a lot of opportunity things. Like, we could have uh, gone to so many places and had an activity where we played different kind of games and stuff. No, we did not play games that much. Instead... The only game we played was golf, which happened to be one of my highlights. And then there was also um, swimming, which I'll get to, because swimming was a big disappointment from what I had thought. And the majority of the time we just sat around the campfire. And no, we didn't sing the campfire song song from Spongebob, although I'm sure somebody did. <laughs> yes. One of the people that actually went to the camp, too, was Cell Phones Rock Enterprises. And also a few of our other friends went, too. And that brings me to my next problem. One of the campers really got on my nerves. Like, he was off the wall. He just couldn't calm himself down. He was in your face. It's like if I were to act like a complete goofball during this entire video. And, yeah, I bet you can imagine what he was like. Oh, and I don't want, I'm not going to mention who he is because I'd rather not mention names other than those that have YouTube channels. So yes, please do not mention him in the comments and even if you do know who I'm talking about. So anyway, one of the problems this guy was doing was he constantly was shining his flashlight everywhere, especially when we were asleep in the tent. So the counselors had to take it away from him. And then also he was inappropriate and... Oh god, I don't even want to get to what he was doing, because I'm not... This channel is completely, uh, free for all ages. I'm not allowed to talk about what he was doing to my younger viewers. But, aside from that, yeah, not fun. The third problem was that it was run by a former war veteran who had to see some pretty ugly things, because... If you're a war veteran, you see people get shot constantly, and that can get a little ugly after a while. He had to have a dog with him to calm him down and to keep him company. The dog was nice at first, but after I heard from x 199, the dog heard him, I got a little scared about it. The fourth problem was that I completely acted like a total jerk. Like, I had no fun. The first night may have been okay for me, but the next day, which was Saturday, and the full day we had at the camp, 
I felt just so sad and depressed and I just couldn't get myself together. I was so upset and really missed my parents and missed being with my parents. The problem was really starting to get on my nerves eventually and I got worse eventually. There was nothing people could do and I got so annoyed that not even XTuber199, my best friend, and he just... He didn't want to be around me either. I eventually later got into a, into a little bit of a brawl with the counselor. And by brawl, I mean I literally tried reaching to his pocket to grab his cell phone so I could call my parents. Because I didn't have a phone at the time. And also my parents broke the rules by going onto the campground. And parents are not allowed on the campground because kids are supposed to be away from their parents. That's the whole point. They're teaching you to be independent and don't need your parents anymore. No, I needed my parents. So my dad came up and helped me. He told me that there was nothing they could do about bringing me back because their schedule was pretty busy, so I was stuck. I could not do anything. But, yeah, that was not fun of my own experience to be at strike camp. I don't recommend it, but I do hear that the camp has been improved a little now that they got rid of that one guy. But... You have a lot more activities and opportunity there. At least that's what XTrooper199 told me. Um, so I hear that the experience would be a lot much better. But personally, my experience was not great. I even called the place a hellhole. And that's below my normal attitude. Because even at the age of 13, which I was, I wouldn't have acted like that. Ugh. <sighs> But yes, people were being annoying. I did not like how it was structured. I got pretty annoyed afterward. Yeah, I'm not happy about what happened. So yeah, strike camp, not the best thing on my book. Now let's just get some positives out. There were some positives about the camp. Like my first day was nice, just seeing my friends, hanging out, talking about stuff. Um, and also I was glad my dad came to help me because I really needed somebody with me to calm me down. And yeah, I may have broken the rules, but hey, what are you going to do when you're completely in need of somebody when you're completely out of sorts? And also, um, when I got home, I was welcomed by a new bed comforter because... At the time when I went to strike camp, I had just gotten a new bed, and I had wanted um, a, a cozier bed because I did not like how slabby the bed felt, so my parents got me a comforter. And let's just say it totally helped me from the awful sleeping in the tent I had to experience. And also, my friend stole my sleeping bag thinking it was his. No joke. So that was why it was uncomfortable. But yeah, just me rambling about an experience I had that I wouldn't recommend in the future for myself. I'm not going back there again, but to those of you that like it, continue to go. In fact, extra 199 and cell phones rock. Please tell me what your experience was that weekend two years ago. If you can remember. If you can, that's great. Tell me in the comments. This is Topic Tuesday from LEGO Guy 1, and as always, peace out.